very aware of model slash model slash anything. It's just it maybe too too aware for my own good for a long time, but I felt really insecure about it. I mean, if one were to survey the history of models getting into music, yeah, Twiggy, Kate Moss, Naomi Campbell. So, I mean, but then there's Carla Bruni and then there's Nico, correct? As well, you know. I mean, there's there's I think there's good examples for why one should and why one shouldn't, you know. And I think perception. People's perceptions of, of, of other individuals can sometimes be vastly different from the from the individual, and I personally try and just keep a keep an open mind. So you didn't play your songs for him. Not for a while. Were you too, ner too nervous to play? I felt a little, yeah. I felt a little anxious. I felt I can't explain it. I think, for lack of a, a better word, I had a devil on my shoulder who was sort of saying too many things in my ear, and I just had to learn to ignore that devil for a while and and get over myself. Given the fact that you were insecure going into this project, was mm -hmm. it at all anxiety provoking to be in the studio with a man who is often considered <laughs> one of the best living musicians? You know, the funny thing is, we have a studio in our back garden and I've been in there so many times before I even made my record, just singing, backing vocals on things and just hanging out when he's in the studio recording, but it wasn't that terrifying. I mean, I've heard the horror stories about husbands and wives collaborating together in the studio and also, you know, the horror stories. They just, I've heard plenty and thankfully Jack and I didn't have that. And if you were tempted to get nervous by him, I imagine you could say to yourself, I see this guy in his yeah. underwear and brushing his <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he's my husband, so it's like, I'm probably one of the few people who isn't intimidated by him, so. I had this image, it's so morbid and you're probably going to think I'm a complete psycho after this, but I had this image <laughs> in my head of this, this couple by a lake and the moon shining above them and the guy is about to kiss her and instead of kissing her he has a knife in his hand and she sees the moon sparkling in the knife and I had that image in my head and I thought this could be a great song. But the ghost who walks is me, essentially, even though obviously I've not been murdered by my husband <laughs> or plan <laughs> that ever happening, Jack. <laughs> I'll, I'll make sure he gets make that sure, message. Make yeah. sure he gets the memo, please. So, but you know, the emotions there, the yearning, the heartache, the, this girl's ghostly, there's, there's things, I am that person, you know? Under 